So how to connect a flow meter and how can you get the reading? So basically connect, as you see here, the forward directional valve, the A and B port, connect to the one side of the flow meter and then B uh, to the other side, doesn't matter which side you connect. Um, so then turn on the machine and then you can play with it. So that's not the right direction. So, so you can see that that piece is going up. So basically pressurized fluid coming this way and pressurizing that flow, whatever that mark is, and you will be reading this line in the middle. Turn the valve and see if it changes it. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but let's see. Let's, let's open all the way. It should change. Didn't much. This is a small needle valve, so it's gonna take a while to mm -hmm. really control the flow. Um, it's not that sensitive piece, mm -hmm. but it still it changes the flow. But you gotta kind of play and play with it. So I almost kind of closed that mm -hmm. needle valve here. So it's all the way closed now, almost. So it's basically reading nothing. Now you go, now open that. And then it goes like that. Now when you close the flow, the pressure gauge will probably, should it stop, it's going down and basically, if there is no flow, the system is still pressurized. But there you can tell there may be a little bit of leak somewhere, mm -hmm. that's why it's going down. It's not able to hold the pressure. Uh, could be because of this, or maybe the pump, something. But you can change the flow. So, like it's all the way closed now. Now uh, this shouldn't move. Oh, it moves, but not probably because of the other flow is already there. Because this is measuring based on pressure. It's converting mm -hmm. the pressure into flow. So it's not directly measuring the flow. There is no way you can measure actually flow directly. Now I'm opening all the way up. And then now you can see the flow and see how much. It's almost about a gallon uh, per minute flow. That's the max in this system. Okay. That's it.